With the recent hiring of Kellen Moore as the new offensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Chargers, we have to ask ourselves, what can we expect from this guy other than a really weird punt formation in the latest Cowboys game? Or, or could we say that this is the guy that finally will unlock the potential of superstar? That's right, superstar quarterback Justin Herbert. And I think it is a little bit of the latter. I think he's going to lock some stuff and do some really good things with Justin Herbert and company. Now, so you got to see here, why Why do I think that? Well, you got to look what he's done in the past. So what this is what we can expect. So points per game, 26.8. That was good for fourth in the league this last year. By the way, this is all according to teamrankings.com, literally the name of the website. Also, yards per game, 354.8. Um, and this is with a lot of weapons. Again, you've got all the weapons there surrounding Dak Prescott. And Justin Herbert is twice, twice the quarterback that Dak Prescott is. I don't think we can debate that. So um, you've also got you uh, had was pretty good in third down conversion rating of 45.17%. Uh, also equally as good uh, in fourth down, excuse me, number five in both. Red zone scoring, they were number one, 71.43%. Uh, you got to love it there. So uh, And the thing was, they weren't just pass happy. Like They could run the football too. Uh, they were, uh, you know, rushes again. They were willing to to stick to the run. They averaged over 130 rushing yards a game, which I think is going to be a huge point of emphasis for the Chargers and how that complements the passing game. And then also the passing statistics here. Um, they really did a good job of averaging out it out here and doing a lot of different things. Um, you know, and didn't have a lot of interceptions thrown. I think that you know Kellen Moore has a history of putting Dak Prescott in a position to be successful, and I think we can expect that from him too with Justin Herbert uh, being his uh, his quarterback. Uh, passing yards per game, you know, middle of the pack there, but overall um, they don't make a lot of mistakes. They run the football well under the direction of Moore, and uh, they're able to do a lot of different things as well. So you know, in terms of what we can expect, I think that again you, you're going to see a guy that has worked with talented uh, quarterbacks before like Dak Prescott is arguably a top 15 quarterback now what's he going to do with arguably a top 10 maybe maybe even top 5 quarterback with things down the line now that's not to say there's not needs I still think that uh, you know the Chargers they're going to need a little bit of help along the offensive line a little bit not much um, you know wide receivers like uh, Mike Williams and uh, Keenan Allen are getting a little bit up there as well but you got a good running back in Austin Eckler who can catch the, uh, the ball out of the backfield I definitely think he's going to be a big part of the offense moving forward so, um, you know, again, I do think they're going to look at maybe a wide receiver in the first round or at least in the early rounds to see uh, what they can do to kind of keep this continu uh, continuity going. But you also see a guy, you know, a Josh uh, Josh Palmer is going to be a guy that I think really benefits from this too because, you know, uh, being with Kellen Moore, all of his receivers were guys um, that were able to get uh, and go out and get there. So, uh, you know, Noah Brown was a guy um, that was um, a, a guy that definitely benefited from being on the Cowboys and being under the direction of Kellen Moore. Um, and, you know, I really think think that that's just the beginning for uh, a lot of this so again in order to what in order of in terms of what to expect I think we're going to see a guy that's got a little bit of creativity maybe sometimes a little bit too much um, but you know and, and, and even again those those other receivers on the roster uh, another good example is Cedric Wilson Jr. who got paid by the Miami Dolphins or, or went to the Miami Dolphins in the offseason uh, he finds a way to use those guys use their strengths uh, and make th and makes them uh, a part of the offense all of them a part of the offense which I think is exactly what we can expect from uh, uh, Kellen Moore. I think he's going to use all of his pieces at his dis um, at his disposal, and hopefully he doesn't do any more punts like that or fake punts. But it is what it is. There, uh, you know, and, and more uh, more fancy play calling. And 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 please, for the love of God, learn to spike the football. That's all I got to say. But at the end of the day, I think it's a good hire from the Chargers. I think that they're going to expect uh, some big things from Kellen Moore, uh, and hopefully continue the development of Justin Herbert. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about what we can expect from new chargers oc Kellen moore